Hey guys, this video is going to be a review of The Back Door, the fourth book in the X-Wing series by Michael A. Sackwell. So I really did like this book and enjoy it. And I don't think it was my favorite of the series so far. I don't think it made me as excited to read the next one as some of the ones in the past have. And it seemed to go by really fast though. Um, it was kind of like, I don't know, it, it was just, there was a lot of fighting, which makes sense because it's a war. But, um, it just seemed to go by really fast, but, and I enjoyed it, but just not as much as some of the others. And uh, at some point at the end of the book, um, I think they say something about how it's been like a year and a half since they met or something like that. Hold on a second. Yeah, he says about a year and a half ago that I first met most of you. So... It's been like a year and a half since the first book, so all four of these have... And I guess that makes sense, but I hadn't really thought it'd been that long. Because st I guess because stuff seems to go by so quickly, when in, really they're, in reality they're like taking longer. So it's apparently been like a year and a half in all of these books. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it's been a year and a half, but apparently it has. Like, one of the biggest things I want to talk about is Mirax and Corrin's relationship because this is spoilers, but they get engaged and married in this book. And it's kind of because they only were really together at the end of the last book, and now oh, they got engaged in this book and then married in this book. So, obviously, that's like really fast. But I, I really like their relationship and I've liked it from the beginning. And it was focused, like, I think it was focused on more in this one than it was in any of the others. Probably because they got married. But I really liked that because I really liked their relationship. And I find Mirax's dad's reaction to everything absolutely hilarious. Like, his relationship with Corrin is hilarious. And I just loved that. And his reaction to them getting married was hilarious. And I just really loved the aspect of the book. It did happen really fast though, but now that I know that the entire series is takes place like in a year and a half, I'm wondering how long they were actually together before they got married. Because it still wasn't that long, but I, I'm not really entirely sure of the exact timeline. I need to look that up because I'm sure it's on the internet. It's probably on Wikipedia, which is how I knew that they were going to get married before I even read this book. But that was quite possibly my favorite part of this book. <laughs> yeah. And then the only other thing that I really want to mention is the fact that, and this is a big spoiler for the end of the book, is that um, Izard is dead. And so she was kind of like the main villain of everything. So it'll be interesting to see how the next book goes. I mean, there's still lots that could happen. Um, but she was, like, the main villain that they were focused on for, like, the entire series so far. So it'll be interesting to see how they go, how, like, things go in the next book and what they're focused on, like, doing now. And it'll be interesting seeing Marex and Corrin married and everything else. I'm really looking forward to the next one. Hopefully I'll get to it soon. But I think that's all I have to say about this one. I really liked it. It wasn't my favorite of the series, but I really liked it. I really liked um, Mirax Corrin's relationship in here and Mirax's dad's re reaction to everything because I thought that was a great, like, comedy throughout everything. And I will see you guys later. Bye.